Oh, Devi. Goddess. While Lalita joyfully performs the Arati ceremony to you and the other Sakis worship you with new auspicious songs and flowers. Can this maid servant to whom you are dearer than billions of lives worship you with her hair yeah. we continue from commentary yeah. the acharyas have expertly shown in their books how to surrender to Sri Radharani's lotus feet. It will all be experienced by the grace of Rupa and Raghunatha Goswami. Swamini is sitting on her Ratna Paryanka, jeweled throne. How should we think of Sri Radhika's throne? Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila. Sri Radhika's bed of pride stands in the abode of her nice bodily fragrance. She sits on that bed, always thinking of Krishna's company. The birthplace of that pride is the feeling of possessiveness mm -hmm. that causes her to think, Krishna is mine. Mm. The devotees should relish that sweetness in their meditations. When the sadhaka wants to make his life blessed by performing smarana, so naturally that it resembles a stream of water. He should certainly study and discuss the Stava Mala and Stavavali compilations. Then he will taste rasa and experience all these heart services. The mind cannot be absorbed in Swamini's lotus feet by force. Without always perceiving the Siddha Swarup, 
This cannot be understood. Nor can one think of Radharani's devotional service as long as one identifies with one's male or female material body. One must stay immersed in identification with the Guru given Manjali Swaru. Yeah. This desire must always be awake. Hmm. Hari Hari, when will I obtain this condition? When will I be born as a daughter in the house? of a cowherd in Vrishabhanu's town, Varshana. When will I be married in the village of Yavad? And when can I live there? When can I serve the best of sakis with everything that is most dear to her. Pratana. She will be merciful and take me to her reddish lotus feet. Offering me to the lotus feet of the Yuga Lakishu. My condition will become successful and my desires will be fulfilled when I can serve these lotus feet. That it? That it? Mm -hmm. So I think that this is the nice place where we can stop a little bit because many points from the beginning of the reading not coming. Voice is not coming. Loud, loud. 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 Okay, I will try. Now you can hear me better? Yes. All right. So we can stop a little bit here because many points were mentioned. And maybe it will be not nice <laughs> to jump over them because we should properly understand each sentence. And Rasamani started with the part of commentary which say, Acharyas have expertly shown in their books how to surrender to Shiva Dharani's lotus feet. I don't understand. You don't understand? Make it Now, can I speak again? Yes, I will try. Rasamai were talking how Acharya were reading how Acharyas have expertly shown in their books how to surrender to Radharani's lotus feet. Okay. And we can say 
that these books of them are embodiment of Kripa, Vaishnava Kripa. And they are showing the way how to think like a manjari, how to feel like a manjari, and how to serve like a manjari. But we also, when we are reading these books, when we are listening to these books, when we are meditating on their words, in the same time we should depend on their mercy. And it said, only with the grace of Rupa and Raghunatha, this can be experienced. So these Mahavanis are the great treasure for Sadaka. This is a guideline. This is the path which can bring Sadaka to the goal. And the best example is in the next <laughs> sentence, which is mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita, how to meditate on the jeweled throne where Radhika is sitting. How, what is this jeweled throne? What is deeper meaning of this jeweled throne? Because on one side, we can say jewel throne is a place for sitting with many jewels, pearls, ornaments. And yes, this is very nice. But Acharyas are giving us deeper understanding how to meditate on the jewel throne and what is this dual throne? And this dual throne is the place where Radhika's pride are sitting. This pride is expression of her intense Mahabhava, and this pride is the result of her specific consciousness out of love. Krishna is mine. This is the strongest feeling which can person have for his beloved. He is mine. Not only I am his or I am her. This is very nice, intense feeling, but more intense feeling, which brings person to the loving devotional service, is he is mine. And this is transcendental proudness. This kind of transcendental proudness is like a throne in which Radhika is sitting always, always meditating on her beloved. So meditation on that throne, bed of pride, is helping Sadaka to go deeper and deeper in Smara. And Baba is playing this kind of meditation is like a stream of water. <clears throat> stream of water is very strong without interruption. And the stream of water, you know, when water 
is flowing like a stream. No one can stop it. And this is why Baba is comparing this deep meditation with the stream of water. It's a clear, crystal clear, without any impurities, and strongly flow, flow, flow towards the love. So we can see here that Radhika is the example how she is focused on her beloved and in same time we can see how our acharyas are fixed in this beautiful meditation like a stream of water towards Radhika's lotus feet, Radhika's feeling. Radhika's heart, Radhika's nama, rupa, guna, and guru. She is giving example to everyone how to be fixed. And Baba is continuing this explanation by saying that mind cannot be forced to think on Radhika. We need deep emotions. We need love to be completely immersed in the waves of love. And then this stream of water will go naturally. Because meditation to Radhika has to be clear, clear stream of water and completely natural. And we have to pray for mercy, at least for one drop, one smallest drop of this water, this river of thought. Because this drop can flush out all impurities. And the only way how we can do it is to be so fortunate, indescribably fortunate, to get the mercy that our soul can be dressed in Manjari Bal Avesh by the mercy of Guru, by the mercy of Aranga Manjari, and ultimately mercy of Radhika. Because this Swarup is given to the soul, not to this body. Radhika, Ananga Manjari and Guru Manjari is not giving to this body <coughs> Swaru. Not to this Goranga Sundara body. No. This body is from the flesh, bone, plastic. But Swaru is given to the soul. Jivera, Swaru. Jiva, so needs this story. So 
So through this sorrow, we have to meditate in the mood of stream of water. on our beloved son. Baba is saying one must stay immersed in identification with the Sri Guru given Manjari story. Immersed. <laughs> And now is the song from Prakthana, which is explaining very clearly what does it mean to be immersed in Manjari Swaro. And some of them, some of you, sorry, can remember also the Bhakti, you know the Thakur's song in which he is also explain what does it mean to be immersed in Swarup of Radha Palyadasi. Dekit the Dekit is starting the song when he is singing. But this kind of singing is praying and crying. From the soul he is crying. Atma, Atma Krandana, Atma, from the soul he is crying. In one flesh of life, I want to leave my bodily identification. In the flesh of life must happen. And the same thing is repeated here in Pratana by Narak and Dasta. I said some little there. Please can you elaborate more? Very nice. Mm -hmm. And also is written that identification of material body, male and female, we have to come out from that. When I will say identification of my material body, then one pointedness will not come, still not coming to fix in my Guru given my Sarup to us. That practice and that meditation is very important to see one pointedness, my goal, and this who give me, he will navigate me every place what is we need. He will show me the path. What is not knowing by me. Yeah. Very nice. With you. It is not philosophy. Is this point has to realize by our practice. <laughs> When I have agreed, I will practice this to realize it. Hmm? Go on. Hare 
Rate. When the sadaka, mm, sorry, the mind cannot be absorbed in mm. Swamini's lotus feet by force without mm. always perceiving the Siddha Swarupa. Yes, never possible. This is the only way to live and practice Siddha Swarupa. My name, without my name, my body color, my cloth color, my age, my nature, my service, when I will meditate this. Automatic, these points will be open to see that this is very great help to realize. And without living there, we cannot understand this. My kunja, all will be automatically will give the surprise of this world. Then we will feel nothing is for now. I'm living there. <laughs> I'm not outside of the book. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Without always perceiving the Siddha Swarupa, this cannot be understood, nor can one think of Radharani's devotional service as long as one identifies with one's male or female material body. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this the point. One must stay immersed in identification with Sri Guru given Manjari Swarup. This desire must always be awake. <laughs> She will be merciful and take me to her reddish lotus feet, offering me to the lotus feet of the Yuga Lakishore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My condition will become successful. My condition. What is problem? My condition not expected to. 
my condition will be successful when this practice is done. This is the key point. When I want to go direct, then I not get the key for that. I will meditate and it flies. But this is the key that your condition will, our condition will become what successful. I will achieve, this is the key point. All Bhagavad Gita is written to come out from the soul consciousness. And whole practice, Raga Bhakti, is fixed in our condition where we are. When we start to live in our sarup, what is given by Guru Dev, it will change because the soul is there. This old 10, 5 years, 1 month, 2 months, 6 months, 1 year practice to realize the soul. And then when you realize it, then subject them more want to open yourself than come by giving Mandir is a roof and fix in that. Always think and meditate in that. Automatically, you will get the key to open everything. Uh -huh. Understand? Mm -hmm. But one condition is there. You have to come out from male and female body consciousness. This is the first condition. If some time comes this, uh, then do your job and come back there. <laughs> For the moment you can come, but the whole time you are out, then you are out. The moment you can come and go, but you have to fix your living place. And that should be... <laughs> <laughs> to make real relation with that. Then when you have a your self identification, then where goes your relation? Radhika relation one pointed to Krishna, then where is your relation? Who is to meditate? to relate Krishna or Radha Radhika because Guru Manjari gives to meditate Radha how she is doing Radhika try to learn that to do to her right mm -hmm. that is Sadhana in Raga Bhakti. Other practice is, what do you say in English? Vain, nothing. Vain. Nothing, eh? Vain. Vain. But I'm in job, I'm doing this, that. Slowly, you have to come down for this if you want to keep. Open this lock. 
If you don't interested to open is a greed. If you are ready to open this lock, you have to try to open it with the greed. Right? Understand? Can I ask something, Guru? Yes. Right. How to start immersing one in the Swarup given by Guru? If you, if you got it, then what is the name? You have to think that my name is this. When you will think on this name, that is name of not this body. This name of the soul. And then he gives you the color of the body. Then that color is your body color. Right? Is a, is a, what you say, bhava deha. You're making feelings body. Then you wear clothes. When you have a body, you wear the clothes. He give you clothes to wear. Then he give you age. That age is my age. Then he give the nature. Which type of nature you have? What we have these things on the in material world, <laughs> nature. You see that material body has this nature. Then we fix the service. Somebody likes some service, somebody likes some service, and I have also some service. This service you can use in outside activities and inside the activities. Service is seva. Many spices. Many spices. Oil. Many varieties of grains. Everything you keep. And you plan what I will cook. And then you organize cooking. Everything in your life is a cook. Huh. Right? So any survive what you have is a big meaning. Big meaning. Like yeah. Everything is a big meaning. If you have a lotus feet seva. Then you have to paint the floor very nice. Floor, lotus feet walking. Then floor should be nice. Sleepers should be nice. Gentlemen, eh? all the seva for Radharani, Manjari, and everyone that has to be there. 
everything should be nice to work. <laughs> Every how you are meditating in lotus feet, if you not do that thing. Mm -hmm. If you get the Sayya Seva to make the good bed, it's also very nice because this makes you Huh? Comforts. Comforts. How much you can create the comforts that somebody become very easy and comfortable. <laughs> what is meaning of that? When you become tired, you relax. Huh? Body to relax is the best. So if you create that comfort for someone, this is Sayyasa. Mm -hmm. Somebody got the Chhatra. Gurudev, give me two Seva, Charan and Chhatra. Mm -hmm. A to Z. <laughs> <laughs> Down to up. When I hear to the when everything you have to do, I understand. All, all ten directions. Yes, yeah, no, all everything from down to up. Yeah. I don't know. I have to do that. <laughs> and he gave the intuition to do that. Chatra means protection. Roof is the protection. Any protection job, I agree to do because this is my seva in the spiritual world and material world. You see, and protection is protect to the from the difficulty of problems from outside to others. That is also protection. Protection is very, and where is Radha? Radha Rani is not there. He is in the every living soul who has a love. The Radha Maya Swami is there, and his lover is also there. So every living being, service is their service. Huh? No. So when we start practicing, slowly, slowly everything is start surprising us in life. What surprise come one by one in life? You cannot imagine only by practicing what I receive from my Guru Dev. And this way I will never forget him and I will never leave him because he gave me so deep wealth journey is out of understanding without knowing and I cannot know without practicing. It is not a philosophy that I read a one book and I will know it. It has to go in research by your practicing. Is a research of and to know that, right? This is my experience by doing this Kripa, receiving. And this realization and surprise change our life. If the surprise is not there, realization is not there, <laughs> nothing is changing.
my Mahatma says, surprise, what wow, you say? Amazing. Huh? Amazing. <laughs> that amazing, how sweetly he say, you can feel it. Say, please, one time. No, say like, no, I love this to sing. Please, bring amazing. this. No, no, say really, naturally. How, how was the food today? It was amazing. It's a natural coming from his heart. Heart. Amazing. Amazing. You have to record it. Keep it open. This is amazing. This surprising. <laughs> it's, it's coming, you can feel it. <coughs> this is not from head, it's from heart. You can. <laughs> It heart is amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing. Gurudev, wow. today we invited Sadbin Mahatma to go out with us to eat, and then Mahatma said, why to go outside? <laughs> is there something better than the prasad here? <laughs> you see, this is my Mahatma. You can see this? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> this is American Mahatma. He's American. This young girl Sadhvi is American. Show the picture. They are amazing. I can forecast you. Thousands will follow them. You will see that. They are great soul. I can see that. They are very great soul. In previous life, they was very elevated soul. Very great. <laughs> this is amazing. You understand? <laughs> this this happening is amazing. Yeah. Hmm? He said that I am coming for six months to stay here, my God. No other business, only service. They no think for themselves. And happy in every circumstances. This is amazing. <laughs> Go on. My condition will become successful. And my desires will be fulfilled when I can serve these lotus feet. Yeah. It is not easy to become free from the bondage of the material body. Yeah, oh, it's not very easy, man. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a gift of, of the Creator. It's not easy. Prabhupada the Bhagavad Gita, last paragraph. This is given by the gift of the mercy of Krishna. It's not easy job. <laughs> You see, who oh, Krishna devotee, you see, they are more attached after some time with the gunas and ego. 
I am president. <laughs> I will not lose my chair if I have to fight for that. <laughs> I have to do politics for that. It's not easy. Sri Radha, nobody wants to leave his position and come first in life. But if Prabhupada also say, you can make your position normal, you can make normal. Read how you can make your life easy. Read. As long as we think I am a scholar, I am a Goswami, I am a Bhajan Anandi, it cannot be accomplished. Oh, <laughs> Without mercy from above, this what? pride. <laughs> Without mercy from above, Mm -hmm. This pride cannot leave. Mm -hmm. Intense worship. This is also pride. This is false ego. Mm -hmm. Up to here, false ego is catching. Mm -hmm. You leave everything to do bhajan, chanting, and then you say, I'm chanting two lakhs every day. Mm -hmm. I wake up at 12 in night, 1 in night and chant and you, you want to publicity yourself that you are a great Mahatma. This is also false. I am a guru is a false. Any identification of body is a false. Be careful, my dear. Very good. This I want. Savdhan. Sadhu Savdhan. Not normal person to care for. If you are really saintly soul, you want to be saintly soul. Very careful. Prem Parishan say, only Sadhu has to Savdhan. I say, wow, very good. If you want to be a sadhu, saintly person, be careful. Mistake. Yeah. This this is the reason why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, "I'm not the Brahmana. No, I'm no. not the Grihastha." No, I am not sannyasi. No. Yes. I am not brahmachari. Yes. I am not this and that. I am not guru. I am, I am dasa anuda anuda. Because all yeah, these in the identification are blockages. Yeah. And I cannot. Yeah. Attain my goal. Oh. Yeah. Sri Rad. Rad. Also, Patmin Patmin is saying, Radhika Dasi, Hoya Abhiman. Also, this is the same meaning. Yeah. Same meaning. Make the Abhiman of Radhika Dasi. Abhiman. But duality will not work. Hmm. Aviman is there, we don't need to come out from that. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes ego abhiman, sometimes this abhiman means marginal, ping pong. Can you say what it means? Hmm? What means this line, Guru? Radhika Dasi, Adi Boy, Adi Man. If my desire to I am a mid servant of Radha. My only pride to be a mid servant of Radha mm. Rani. Mm. And it goes then, Sigre Mila Bukula Khan. He will come to you. Mm. You don't need to. Sigre Mila. He, this man who is a Gokula Gana, he will search, find you out. That one Dasi of Radhika is living here. He will search you out. You don't need to search him because you cannot search him. Nobody search him. He's so, so divine, so powerful. Where he is, where he is not, it's it diff, differ to find him out. He's everywhere, he's nowhere. Because he's rather others. Yeah. So, Guru, we can conclude actually that mm -hmm. this conditioned state of life is very difficult to be free of it because the same uh, principle is present in materialistic consciousness. I am, and this is mine. This and is the it, This is the point. I understand your question. This yeah. is the point. So, Leela Chintan before Manjari Sarup Chintan and living in 24-7 in our Sarup Avish. That is recommended that you change your identification by living and practicing your Manjari Sarup. Many, they keep it in Almira and they meditate in the past time. But this is to be meditate, the Sarup Aves and Seva, and this practice has to be always keeping in mind and doing. All will change automatic is a key point. This is a key of your love to open. If you want to open and to be free from again to go in condition, you will keep it this on, you will not go. Any one of the subject, even the age is there, name is there, mm -hmm. your cloth color is meditation is there. Any feeling of that will keep you and give you this much. So this is so important. What is it? But everything starts from here to change our identification. Eight words, right? But eight words so beautiful that you got the key with this realization. Yeah. 
intense worship can attract one minute radhika come here ask to me what the yeah 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 What is, down, what is false ego? Yes. Can you explain this false ego? Gauranga Sundar. Wow, okay. such, a, <laughs> yes. such a difficult question. Actually. I'm not qualified to answer this difficult question, my dear duty. <laughs> This is good question she is asking. Yes, perfect question actually. And according to the topic. So it means yeah. that, uh, that she is completely immersed in, in your words and the words of Acharya. Explain the what is false. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This False is ego. <laughs> There is a two types of ego, my dear. We call it one is like materialistic ego. And this, another one is a spiritual ego. Materialistic ego is something which brings understanding that we are this body. For example, I am Goranga Sundara Das. I am from Croatia. I have 63 years. I have family. I have daughter, granddaughter, grandson. I have money. I have house, car, and so on, and so on. And this kind of things is the result of my identification in a material world, bodily consciousness. My body, and I like other bodies. But there is another level of understanding. I am the soul. Eternal soul. And this is my real existence. But this is not enough. I have to know What is the name of my soul? How I look like? What is the age of my soul? What is the nature of my soul? What I like to do for the pleasure of life? And this brings us to the point of spiritual form and spiritual ego. So it's not enough to know I'm soul, and it's not enough to know I'm not this body of Goranga Sundara. I need, and I'm very grieved to know who I am, really I am. Mm -hmm. And which kind of form I have. Like a beautiful Radha Dasi, mm -hmm. who is so shining, who is so sweet, very clever, very, very clever. And she's always ready to serve Radhika, 
to help others with full love. Because I want to be full of love and embodiment of love. Understand? And one thing more I want to say. What is making it false? Not false. real. Is a false? Yes. It look no. it look real, but is a false. <laughs> that is false. And I accept that this is my identification. Is a false ego. What is not truth? I ex accept that. Right? What is not true? Truth. Who, 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 what not bring me in the service of Nitai God or Radharani? That is all false. <laughs> Or not? Would not inspire me to do that is all false catching. And then I start living in that false ego. So my false ego growing and what is to develop my real purity, I losing that. You understand? <laughs> So why I do? <coughs> because I forget who I am, that I am a soul, what he said now. And soul has only duty to serve my son, no. I. <laughs> that is the service. I Why I study? Why we respect mother and father, why we make friendly to everyone, to learn in this practical room. And when I will learn this behavior, I will also behave in a spiritual consciousness, in divine consciousness. How to relate, how, what is the beauty of relation, what is the beauty of love, mm -hmm. And what is the beauty of service? Right? This body is only for the service. And when you not become tired with that service, then your false ego is less to you. If you use this body in the service, that is your purity. You see, Balram Bhaiya, who is the making the carpenter job, always he is busy in the service. <laughs> For me, he is the real Mahatma mm. in my temple, mm. higher than me. I is an example for me. For me, he is the real Mahatma, he is real Bhajananandi, that is his brother. <laughs> he can become Tamoguni, but he never come in Tamoguna. He never in Rajaguna. Always in Sadha, Sattva, Sadha. Sattva Guna, Sudha Sattva, Vishuddha Sattva. All is his living there. Is the most elevated soul in my compass. Mm. This is my vision to see. Mm. His service is Adamohan service. Mm. Understand? He has no ego. 
call him and say very heavy words, he will never answer you. <laughs> say, yes, yes, excuse me, I will do again. Yeah. Wow, German machine <laughs> power. <laughs> Fresh air is given. There are. Okay. Intense worship can attract that grace. Wow. But if there is no eagerness, join uh, to that budget, it will yeah. also not work. You see, Radhe, Radhe, eagerness. One word is eagerness, one is a greed. If there is no eagerness, it will not work. Again, read. I'm In eager ten. for something. Huh? So it starts Please. like this. Without mercy from above, this pride cannot leave. You see. Intense worship can attract that grace. But if grace. there is no eagerness. It comes from the grace. This is mercy. We cannot do efforts for that, it is for eagerness. When our mercy comes, you know what happened? Six cents open. Six cents. Third eyes open. Divine vision open. That is six cents. Then when this open, when mercy comes to us, before that we cannot see that from divine vision. We are blocked in the gunas. Yeah. But if there is no eagerness joined to that bhajan, it will also not work. Yeah. Without six sense coming, eagerness will never come to you. If that is the mercy. <laughs> How one American and he is he, only is the in America you eat only fast food, right? And then he say, What is bad in our temple to go to the restaurant? <laughs> what is better? Is, is there something better than is it, <laughs> <laughs> Success, I tell you. <laughs> Eager. Like my Satvata, my friend, mm -hmm. he has a very good house, comfortable house, palace there. 
but eagerness bring to live in small room. <laughs> Your mercy. Mm. No, the other Rani was So that's the point. Eagerness. When come six cents open. Then is a must. Just as a child is born. From the meeting of a married couple, the Lord will appear after the meeting of devotional love and eagerness has taken place. That we explain. <laughs> Yeah, we have one very nice worldly example how child appears. With uniting of loving couple of mother and father. And Baba is saying, Lord, or Radhika or loving Ishtadev will appear from the meeting of devotional love and eagerness. This is the result of appearance. Love plus eagerness. Maybe this we is, can say hmm? this is the child of them when eagerness we are inside us. This is and the fruit sense <laughs> of our life when this child appears inside me with the divine. Consciousness, check to the day, then we, then we, Prabhu say, I have eyes, but what is check to This is sixth sense. The, that divine mercy, reason give me that is the child of the couple that the greed comes to me. Chachudan Dilodei Janme Janme Parusei That Dibbegan Hilda Prabhasita That divine reason cover my heart very clearly that no material interest can go out. That is no meaningful for me. Not working. That is the sixth sense. Mm -hmm. Means you to see and feel with the heart. Huh? To see and feel with the heart is the system. That is the child of the when divine couple when they meet, the baby comes, and this baby is divine reason. Mm -hmm. That is the greed appears now. That nothing can cover us. Prem bhakti jaha hoite avidya vinaja. All ignorance, all the, what I collect, useless garbage, it will automatically. In what you say? Avidya vinaja. Avidya means it goes in vinaja. Means it is going vain. Huh? Vain. <laughs> what we collect the garbage, it goes automatically in vain. No need to throw it out. <laughs> this is the child, and the greed comes for that.
I also practice when I was young age, I say, what uh, they began is the Prakashita. What is divine wisdom? I have a vision. I can see it. No, no, no. What I see is our material wisdom for material ego practicing. <laughs> Nothing is working. Radhika, small baby, so what is the false ego? My God. <laughs> we are experts in false ego. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can guess what like false ego is. <laughs> yeah, I do. Kalia now. Kalia? Is Tori, you know? Gopinath will explain you one. He's like a Kalia. Poisonous. Is snake nature. Go on. Yes. This is the meaning of China. The Lord Himself will reveal how worship can be performed with eagerness. Mm. Because the child is there and the baby has to teach by the mama and papa. Mm. Right? Mm. Bible say, when I was fully child, I can see face to face to you. Mm. Chaitanya Tamrit say, when Foolish child can see Brajendranandan. If I am not foolish and I, my nature is not like a child, I cannot. Huh? Bible say, Chaitanya Tavri say, what you want to know? Child is, is a Baba. Why the Baba say? Because he's a funny guy. Baba means funny guy. <laughs> Child is his nature. You say to stop it, he will do the more. Like a child nature. You cannot say to stop it. You stop to child, they will do the same thing more. <laughs> You say not to put spices, they will put more spices. Well, how to control is out of my control. <laughs> He's a Baba. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. Dadami Pudi Yogam Tam Yena Mam Upayantite Vita Ten 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 Buddhi Yogam Buddhi is there, but Yogam is not there. Buddhi is there, material Buddhi. Without yoga, without union with the divine, is not yoga. Mm -hmm. Not yoga. Yoga means union. When the two meet one place, that is yoga. And yoga. Yoga means separation. And yoga means Meeting. Mm. 
translation going on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How eager are Rupa and Raghunath? Are eager. there any words? Mm. Are there any words to express it? My God. Allegiance to their mood will surely bring experience. <laughs> this experience. Why there's written experience? Is not a theory, it's experience. <laughs> theory, no need to experience. Only memorize it. But experience means you have to realize it. Realize it is a science that you have to make the practical to realize this. <laughs> Prabhupada always say, bhakti is a science. Science means you have to do, go to the practical room and do it and see and accept it. Applied science. Applied science. <laughs> Realize it. Right. What general yeah. realize it? Why so many followers? Mm -hmm. Because he realizes it. If you will realize, many will follow you. Right? Go on. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami now does not see Radha Kund anymore. Sitting in Radha Kund, but not seeing Radha Kund. <laughs> you see? <laughs> he sees Sri Radhika. You see? Showing fun on her jeweled sofa in Yavad. How sweetly she is sitting there, chewing pan and floating in the nectar of laughter and joking with her girlfriend. Now there will be Arati. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> In the summer, Arati is done with a plain lamp. In the winter, with a jeweled lamp. Arati. Huh? Lamp. 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 Mm. The Aratrika or Arati ceremony is meant to remove obstacles or inauspiciousness. In the sweet rasa of Raja, there are so many obstacles for Radha and Mohana in their extramarital relationship. 
In Govinda Lilamrita, Shiradika personally explains what kind of obstacles she has to face. My sister-in-law envies me. My husband is very harsh. And my mother-in-law is very crooked. The enemy's party with gopis like Padma is very strong. And Krishna is out there somewhere in the field at daytime, always surrounded by his cows and his friends. How then will I meet Krishna when there are so many obstacles? Aratik is performed for a smooth meeting with Krishna later at nightfall by Govinda Stali or other places in Vrindavan. After which Shiradika can, can enjoy herself with him by dancing the rasa, playing in the water of Yamuna, drinking honey wine, and wandering in the forest with him for such an auspicious accomplishment, this aratik is performed. Lalita will perform this loving ceremony. <laughs> Her bodily complexion is like Goro Chana pigment. She is a little older in age and has a very harsh and loving nature. She orders different people around while Tulasi brings the Arati paraphernalia. Swamini sits down like a steady lightning strike. That's why she is addressed in this verse as Devi. Devi means effulgent and most beautiful. A wonderful golden light emanates from her body. She feels that Mohana is close to her. He plays in her heart. In Bhavo Lasa, times of meeting, she is Krida Vasati Nagari, living in the town of play. How many past sports Swamini remembers during the Arati? like pictures arising in her mind. In the same way, Lalita performs the arati of the divine couple together in the kunja, in the presence of the sakis and manjari. <clears throat> How beautiful 
how sweet this is. The boat of Swamini's mind sinks in the river of remembrance of Krishna. And that can be seen by the soft, sweet smile on her lotus-like face. How does she love? <clears throat> the Bhagavad says, He laughs and cries, sings and dances like mad, ignoring the people. That is the condition of someone who has prema. Yeah. What then to say of the condition of Mahabhava Mai Radha? She loves. During the ceremony, there are no bells ringing. With sweet voices, the Sakis sing new auspicious songs to burn up all inauspiciousness while Lalita lovingly swings the lamp around in front of Swami. Yes. <laughs> this arati is the great ceremony of divine love. Yeah. Oh. So my Gopinath never leave any heart to speak. <laughs> now you cannot hold him. <laughs> you see, Shama also sings. <laughs> wow. Here it says, Gurudev, there what are no that? bells ringing. And in temple we have hundreds of bells. How is that? <laughs> this was obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> but but when we sing, we don't listen any bells. It becomes in tuning. So Shama is uh, laying the gongs because to keep the twinning, yeah. to give chance to play anyone. So to make the balance in the gonging, <laughs> that it becomes with the bridanga and all together. <laughs> so see, gong also play in the same twinning of bridanga yeah. <laughs> with Sachi. <laughs> 